In the status quo, AI or artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm. This is because AI now isn't the same as how it was back then. It's much more advanced. Although, most of the time, you will associate the words AI or ChatGPT with students' over-reliance on technology. Now, this is exactly why the government team would like to propose that to solve this issue, we should not avoid AI and instead embrace it and integrate it into our education system. By doing this, then we're not viewing AI as some sort of uncontrollable plague, but instead as a friend that can help us create a better education system for all. Hello, I am Puturati Prisanti from SM Anadidua, Surabaya. And today, I stand proudly as the government team to propose the motion that this house believes school curriculums should highly integrate the use of AI like ChatGPT to, uh, during learning process instead of opposing it. First of all, let's address the core issue here. Over, uh, over uh, reliance on technology, as I said before. ChatGPT is one example of AI that's used so often by students to cheat. Because ChatGPT can give clear, direct answers to their questions and even create essays for them. All they need to do is put in a prompt and they'll get what they want. And of course, this is really bad for both stakeholders involved, students and teachers. For the teachers, then their students aren't learning based on what they want them to. And for the students, then they'll become lazy and uncreative because they're over-reliant on AI. Although this is exactly why we need to integrate AI into our education system. What we mean by integrating here is that, well, first of all, we'll educate teachers and students on how to properly use AI based on the guidelines that we will create. The students and teachers will both know how to use AI and what to do and what not to do with the AI. Now, for students, they will be allowed to use the AI in day-to-day uh, -day learning as long as it abides to the terms and conditions given by each, each teacher and by the guidelines of the school. And for the teachers, then they can use these AIs to, for instance, find learning materials or help them grade their students. There's plenty of advantages that come from this. For example, let's look at it from the student's perspective. For students, then basically we're giving them easy and cheap access to sources and to learning. Because not everyone has enough to be able to afford going to extra lessons, right? Meanwhile, AI, ChatGPT is free. And they can learn a lot from this by directly asking questions about the materials that they don't understand based on their, uh, uh, their favorite learning method. Meanwhile, for teachers, there's a lot of issues that are happening right now that can be solved by these AIs. For example, teacher burnout. Teachers now are facing too much workloads than they can handle. And by using AI, then they can help lessen their own burdens because AI can help them, for instance, grade uh, the student, their students. AI can help them find source materials, etc., etc. So as from that, it de instead decreases the possibilities of the students teaching. Oh, sorry, cheating. Because from uh, what we stated before, we're going to be teaching and educating the teachers on how to use AI and uh, how to identify when a student is cheating using AI. So from this, then there won't be a gap between teachers that know about AI and don't. And so that will lessen the chances of the students actually being brave enough to cheat using AI. And last but not least, teachers can of course get creative with the, with the use of AI in their classes and make their learning process more interesting by giving assignments or uh, fun work to do that has integrated AI into them. For example, in art class, the art teacher can tell their students to use an art-making AI to create some, uh, some art based on a prompt to either gain inspiration, or they could even tell their students to find the errors in that art. That's a very interesting and unique way of learning, and that will create a more fun, interesting learning environment for both the teachers and the students. And so, in conclusion, AI in education is something that's inevitable and unavoidable. And so instead of opposing it because of the threats it holds, schools must instead embrace all of the potential that comes with it. And by understanding and integrating it into its system, then we can create a better education system using and by integrating AI into schools. That is all that I have today. Thank you very much.